say in the lore. Manies. Yeah. She's from the moon. Virtus pros turn to bed. Is that what bed. the moon called? Right. By the way, your lips looks very luscious. Thank you. I got some. Uh, yeah, but you went, from oh, you went overboard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but apparently, my nip lips need love. It looks quite kissable. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Oh, Lord. Too much fun on this show. All right, we so go. where's AG putting the Ember Spear? Are we gonna see Artiz gonna play that to thing pick. mid? Or are we gonna see him uh, go safe? I think, I think it's uh, Morphling mid for Artiz. No, he's there. It's Virtus Pro. Okay, I don't know which. Okay, I'm drunk. Like. Okay, I think he wants to emulate Artiz and do a Morphling mid. Okay, it's pretty actually hard to deal with. Like, it's he outlasts it yet? And he has like the the morph for the maximum regen. Yeah. I think it's pretty pretty strong. What's with all the Shadow Shaman all of a sudden? Shadow Shaman has always been a very very good hero. Yeah, but like sometimes no one picks him. I, I think it's kind Ten of a weak support remain. in the. It's a very greedy support because you need a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going on for you. So five seconds he's very level remaining. dependent. Like he needs to get the max like on both the shackle and the thing. It's like what level eleven Reserve or twelve. Time. Well, I mean, I I, I figured that if you're playing remaining. Shadow Shaman support, Shaman Shaman support, <laughs> support. You just look at Ooh. I love this. I love this. That's back awesome. Back, back, to, yeah. back to the Shadow Shaman real fast. Uh, I know how they're going to lane this. You just don't leave Shackle 1. Oh, it's true. Go on, go on. Yeah, you leave Shackle 1 and Max. And they max Hex, so that's fine. There, There is some argument to actually maxing Shackle because you don't have the mana pool to support a very highly level uh, Hex. Hex yeah. scales Prepare very... Costly, yeah, in, in terms of mana. So, but in any case, let's talk about Rave King or Skeleton. Oh, King. sorry, I have this. See, uh, this Mason dude. I think he plays Weaver like all the time. Yes, I forgot what team he plays for, but I'm not sure. But I've seen him play Weaver a good few times. Oh, level one, Roche? I don't think so. I think they're gonna go. I mean, it could be technically, but it's I mean, they're not gonna be walking this way, right? After you no, 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 no. I think they're looking for a pick, and uh, yeah, Rave King's got. What is this? Rafe Fire Blast. These names are just what did it used to be? Mac called? Creative. Uh, it was Hellfire Blast. Hellfire Blast. But now it's Wraith Fire Blast. Uh oh, and somebody's gonna get blasted no, in the no, face. No, Enes. no, NS! NS, I was talking about you. They saw him. Run away, oh. you have 285. Oh. Is he gonna block him? Oh no. Yeah, he's dead. He'd... No. The movement speed. He... Well, what? Wraith King is fast. 300 oh. movement speed. The couple no. right clicks gonna come through. It comes with slow, 136 movement oh, speed. Oh, they're oh, trying oh, to give RTZ the first yeah. blood, but uh. Mason point you. The standing always taking the credit. Right. Unbelievable. Looks like they're going to run an offensive trialing uh, from uh, EG, and this right. is going to be pretty good. Well, the thing is that if you have so much aggression in both the Wraith King and the Visage, why not, right? I yeah, still think that the, the Wraith King stun is one of the best stuns level 1 in the game. You think so? As a slow duration on a stun. It's, it's like a single target slaughter stun. Or okay. torrent, if you want to see it that way. Sure. I, I think like it's a 2 second stun and 2 second slow. Uh, it deals direct damage and damage over time, meaning that you can't immediately after pop a salve. I kind of like it. All right, fair enough. And this is uh, support uh, Rave King, which have we actually ever seen that? I, ever? I made it. You made it. I made it. I you invented made it. it. You mean Boba? I, you no, mean no, Boba no, 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 no. I actually I told Boba, uh, Rave King is a, a roaming support. And there's a tweet. That supports what I sell. Like, I tweeted that. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. So, and now, EG, one of the best teams in the world. Illidan is getting oh, damage. He's slow. Be in trouble. Oh, oh. He's morphing. He doesn't have wave form. It's level one yet. He will have to morph a little bit of strength, meaning that he will have a hard time last hitting. But yeah. Shadow Shaman got a kill on Clockwork. Yep. That's on the top lane. Was level attention. 1 pounce and uh, level 1 Ethershock. Which, by the way, if you're even if you're playing support Shadow Shaman, you should want to get Ethershock at level 1. No Unless you're in the cases of, you know, a, like a 5-man roam into an enemy jungle and trying to get a kill like that. Shackle's not bad, depending on the situation. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Uh, for most most cases, Black. Ethershock does way more damage. The fact uh, is that you can pop probably between 3 and 4 Ethershock uh, with your mana pool, counting like the, the base region that you have. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's a lot of... Um, Damage per mana. Yes. It's very efficient. 95 mana for 140 damage on a hero. You can just push him away with two or three of those. I mean, if you remember how annoying the RP lightning thing is, oh my well, God. this is pretty much it. A creep is a. Minus the fact that it has like a billion cast range. Yeah. Well, this is not bad. This is it like 650? Let's say it's 650. Probably it's 600. Oh, top. Universe in problem. Trouble. Oh, yes. Well. 
Now the Wraith King rotates, oh, comes to help, there's not much going on there. G is just looking at like, I can kill you, Zai, if you want me. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I like this rotation from EG, because, like, sure, the skeleton come, king comes here, but it doesn't really help that much. Back in the mid lane, though, they're gonna go on Jadam. Jadam is gonna be taking a little bit of tower damage. Arteezy tanking it up. He has a stout shield, but they are gonna take Illidan down. The biggest winner is PPD, because we are two minutes in, and he is level four already, so. Well, Do you remember farm. when I was playing with you the other day, and I was laying in against a Morphling mid, and I was like, yeah, it's not going great, and you were like, ah, it's Morphling. Yeah, now you know my pain. You've seen it with your own eyes. I'm seeing Morphling's O2 right now. Okay, what set is the Nyx wearing? Like, if you go to watch our side... Dyer's top tower is under attack. Morphling is... Uh, Morphling, uh, Nyx set. It's the... It's a very weird color. It's one of the casters. I think oh, it's is Casper. it the Casper's one? Casper, yeah. Yeah. which is originally yellow, I guess. They put some kinetic gem. Uh huh. Oh no, the oh there's there's apparently four styles here. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Ah, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Do it, looks like like, it? it looks more like a cockroach now. Mine's pretty. Now the the tri lane rotated top just don't want to get sidetracked too much. Uh, but yeah, there seems to be this fight. Oh, oh Mason, Mason, no. If he had gone he for the sub, why sub. why didn't he go for the uh, impale? That's a good question. Like, you saw he went invisible, he went next to you. Ah, well, now he goes for the impair. Yep. Meanwhile, Morphling gets a kill on the mid lane. Pretty decent dives here, and we're actually seeing a bit Dyer's of uh, the weakness in attack. a uh, lane Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit yeah. Yeah. If you can pull him out of the lane, especially if he's going for a build that's not having Flame Guard. I think last time we seen this build, Andy was flaming the hell out of it. Yeah. Pun intended. Um, uh. It's... Uh, it's, it's a very offensive build once you are starting to roaming, but in the laning stage, waveform, there's a ton of damage, and Flame Guard could help you mitigate some of that. You know, I kind of disagree. I, I feel that the damage that you do with um, Flame, Guard? Flame Guard is a lot. I mean, that's assuming that the enemy allows you to walk up to him and yeah. start getting hits, hits off. Which well, when I play Ember Spirit, I max out the Flame Guard. And okay, get here's one the thing. The other two. It's 60 damage per second at level 4. Yeah, just by walking. Um, three seconds next to an enemy, you do the same damage as uh, saving chains level three. Oh, everybody in problem? PPV, he comes, this joins the news, but uh, not enough. Down no. high level Jordan. Uh, I think Jadam said as well if they want to die for this oh, PPV. No. He oh, got the fog. Oh, no. The rocket flare is going to get him. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's going to be the kill. NS is rotating him in as well. He sees our He's RTC. slow, yeah. even though he has boots. He's still he's got the experience for that rocket kill as well. Yeah, PPV about to heal level six. A that's four a and a half minutes. That's insane. Like the birds are gonna just be sent on NS, for example, and he would just straight up die to it. Yep. That's what you want to do. And that Wraith King right now. Um, so he wants stun and stats. Not a point in aura because he knows he has to stay next to the crit boy, so he's going to push the lane, which is something you don't want. And no point in crit because let's be honest, crit oh, it's early level is terrible. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, there's down on G. G. He gets trapped. Oh, he's, oh, he's gonna leave jumps out away. because this doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> uh, I like how he just jumps away and he doesn't even take the monitor now. No, he's a hero. But they're gonna go on him again here. G takes a stun to the face and the uh, mini stuns are going on to him. G's gonna get you off the shackle. Now, Universe is gonna be taking out the receiving. And what are you doing? Why are you tanking creeps? That's bad. Uh oh. Another stun goes on its face, but that'll be fine. G's not level 6 yet, so he can't just go away and regen. Me, there's something going on. No, bottom. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Elidan is going to die. Oh, he's morphing strength a lot. And he has a lot Art more mana left. Yeah. So he should uh, be and fine. RTC is chasing, but he doesn't Radiant's have flame guard, so he can't. Is under DPS. Attack. Yeah, I just want to say how low Elidan has been this entire time. Like, he's just completely disrespecting uh, the, the Ember Spirit. He's been sitting at like four or 500 HP uh, against, you know, a pretty heavy, heavy nuking visage, which is. The reason why the visage is so fun, by the way. <laughs> but that always surprises me. Here comes me. the birds. Look, Whoa. six minute birds. PPD is like, okay, I'm the carry now. Get away. I'm gonna farm this lane. And Arteezy with a bottle and a haze rune is going top. But the runes, uh, the rune, the ward sees everything. So they know, they see Arteezy now. They see perfectly what he's doing. And Morphling is playing super passive right now. What items would you get, Bruno, on oh, Ember Spear? Uh, it really depends. Uh, like in this game, for example. Since he didn't go for Flame Guard, I say just go for pure damage items, go for Fate Root, go for a Battle Fury if you can't. If you can? No, no, if you can't. If you. But if you go Flame Guard, which is a build I prefer, I'd much rather go for Drums, Vanguard, or Armlet. No, no, not Armlet, sorry. Uh, Desolator, a combination of those three, maybe yeah. two of those three, and just tank it up and punch people. 
Nope, anyway, top lane Zai here. gets shackled and they're gonna jump right into him. He's gonna try to do as much damage before he dies and he's definitely gonna salve even use. So that's a hun another 100 and some odd goal down the drain. Redis Pro getting a ton of, uh, ton of things done in this top lane. The Slark passive always surprised me. Like it does, like what, 18 extra damage every time you hit? Like it removes 18 health or something like yeah. that. Yeah. It's crazy. It's kind of like uh, Undying, uh, yeah. like the... Radiant's bottom yeah. tower the first is kill. under attack. No, the first kill, DK. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Which is like, it's little damage, but it's very deceptive because you lose strength. Also, yeah, teamers so are well in death. Yeah. Um, Slark is a pretty strong hero, especially in pubs. Oh man. Oh, yeah, oh, every, every time, every time someone picks him against me, a little tear comes out of my eye. Like, yeah. I remember when Axe used to be that hero before the nerves. Axe. Nice. Axe at one point was really, really stupid. Strong. Really? I don't, I don't think. I so. don't ever remember that phase. No. So, Wait, I, are you I talking about know. the battle hunger being so much damage? Yeah. No, nah, man. Before the nerf, then. I don't know what what bronze league you're playing in. Oh. No, no. It's just it's you that are below two thousand. Yeah. That's true. Maybe my, maybe my league hasn't caught up to the Axe meta yet. The Axe meta, I'm telling you. All well, right. clearly it got nerfed for some reason, and it was not because it was played a lot in pro games. I see. Oh, the dives. Hey, hey. Getting there for Mason. There's a... Oh, yeah. They see a meta. Attack! Do something! Not get better burn! Don't die! Help! Oh. Oh. bottle. Here comes the rotation. <laughs> they want to kill Mason. He's like, no, get, I'm getting the He's fuck out of here. So nice so impale coming out. Yeah, they're going to try to burst him down. The dust is going to slow him down. Oh, a little bit. Sakuchi is getting him away with the other shock from downtown. Time lapse now is going to oh. go back and he's going to go the other way. And that should be the end of the engage. I just want to say at the beginning of this particular broadcast, I gave NS no me edit. Yeah, go ahead. But uh, since then, aside from that one death that he had in the jungle, which, again, you should not be warding like that by yourself, mm -hmm. he has been one. One zero on three, like just good rotations everywhere, making sure that he's getting a ton of kill at top, mid, and bottom. So this Dyer's is the NS that has been uh, doing a lot of work. Radiance yeah. top tower and is also under doing attack. a lot of work is the Rave King and the Visage top. PVD and Zai, the two supports of the teams, going straight at that tier one tower and without any rotation because everyone remember just TP bottom less than a minute ago, yeah, so no one can go to that tower. There's no glyph either, so the tower is going to go, Radiance and I think it's going to go to PPD, and it's attack. going to be a million support. No, Radiance no. Top Tower has fallen. Right, I just want to say that it doesn't really matter that Virtus Pro, oh. as we see a Clockwork Pusher coming in, and they're going to try to burst this Morphling down, but Grave goes onto him. A very premature Grave. Where's the wave out? He does wave out, but guys, be careful because they could definitely dive him. No Ember Spear. Oh, oh, it's going to be Clock that goes out, and so will the Dazzle. It was awesome from Iris out there. Yeah, I think it was a, a very premature um, grave. grave. It didn't actually do anything. No, no. But I mean, at the same time, it was very discouraging for the rest of the team. Let's see if the birds are going to take this or they're going to die. The stun. Oh. Oh. oh, he bottles it. Yeah. If he had attacked, he had to stun with one and deny the room with the other. Radiance it was pretty hard. Tower and now really I'm attack. popping the strength, uh, popping the, the region room, and with that, with that as well going very low in strength and now he's 7 one, uh, 701 HP. I, I just want to talk about that grave real fast. Jodem put it on the Morphling very, very early, but he's just really respecting what RTZ could do on the Ember Spirit. Like, it's also the Visage as well. Yeah, yeah, like there is a ton of burst damage coming in from Evil Geniuses, so it's better to be safe and sorry, especially on one of your core heroes, so mm -hmm. it's not too bad. Because he had a lot of uh, agility at the time, so it kind of seemed a bit yeah. earlier than it was, I think. Interestingly enough, Mason was farming that mid lane and because it was a sentry war, he pops Shukuchi and he got still attacked by the Morphling and now he's like, I really don't want to farm this lane alone anymore. So he was farming very uh, carelessly, now he needs the help of PPD. And PPD level 7, it's pretty much, yeah, almost the same level as Morphling, which was solo mid for most of the time. That's crazy. Jodom, on the other hand, he's level 6 as well. Lots of levels for these supports. He's I also think. chosen to get a level on Sulfi, whereas yesterday we saw a few times that they didn't land their ulti until level 10 or 9. Like the oh, oh, they, they see her TZ, they go for a TZ. Oh, TZ is going to see half the team. Oh, Here comes Mason, he wants to do work. Time lapse away. comes back in time and he should be okay. But Morphling taking a ton of damage. Illidan, straight Morphing and Ortiz is going to come back in. The chain's going to hit. He's going to have one more slide of fist. No, it's going to be the bug from Mason that taking him down. He gets shackled, he should be fine. Clockwork hook from the back line. Universe finds NS. NS gets bursted down on the front line as well. Arzard's next and he is tanking up under those cars. Ortiz not being focused by anybody. Just doing so much havoc. And I just want to say earlier before this fight breaks out, it doesn't really matter how well Virtus Pro has been trading up to this point. 
the, contra uh, the lineup composition of Evil Geniuses is so well thought out. They have so many tanky frontliners in the form of a Clockwork as well as Wave King. And then they have very elusive damsters in the form fallen. of a Weaver and a Ember Spirit. So in order to get to the back line, you have to remove the Clock and, and the Wraith King, which is hard in itself. And then all the meanwhile, uh, the Tsukuchis, the, the Side of Fist, the Chains, they are just doing so much Dyer's damage uh, uh, you know, under all the time. So I, I feel like this EG lineup is really, really hard to deal with. You have to beat them in lane. And well, that's why they picked the Rasta though, isn't it? They wanted the lockdown for them kind of heroes. Well, the thing is the Rasta, or the Shadow Shaman in this case, is actually pretty good. But against Wraith King, especially a Wraith King support, do you want to really waste hexes and shackles on him when he, like, he doesn't care if he dies? Because he will have reincarnation. So, and also, Shadow Shaman provides you really good stable defenses, but this particular line up could just work around that. Oh, pops the haste, but he sees someone's coming. He wants to jump on PPV. PPV comes there. He's taking all this damage. But NS pumping the wards. PPV can't run away. Universe, this is a great engagement for it's a People keep rotating in. Are they gonna cancel this TP? No, they don't. They're DC. He just slide off his So much damage though. Yeah. And here comes Mason, but he's been dusted. Dyer's middle tower has yeah, fallen. pretty good engage coming out from Virtus Pro. They got what they needed. They pick off a couple of heroes, and the one big weakness of Evil Geniuses, they don't have really Dyer's reliable lockdown. The most reliable attack. thing that they got is the Wraith King's Wraith King stun, and and to a certain extent, Arteezy's sleight of fist and, and chain combo. Mm -hmm. but they have the but, hook uh, from Clockwork. Yeah, well, I'm not sure how so reliable short. that yeah. is, yeah. So, if you could pick off a couple of heroes quickly and then retreat before those stuns kick in, that's a pretty good way to take a fight. But in a true 5v5, I think EG's got vastly stronger team fight. Yeah, yeah I mean, at the same time, when you have um, Rust Awards, uh, I think that it really depends on how BP wants to play it. If you can play the fight on EG's term, a 5v5 is going to be EG's all the time. But if you can, for some reason, BP bait them into the right 5v5 where you want it. They're gonna choke point the like, rupture of the... Oh, G, what are you doing? G, you used the leap, you don't have a leap. Oh, but Universe is the one that's in greater trouble because the Cog got him inside. I'm gonna try to focus down on G, but he's getting a ton of armor from that weave. And, well, he is dropping low. The Grave's gonna come through. The Kale's gonna hit on Arteezy. And Arteezy, well, I don't think he should be chasing anymore. Well, he wants to go, he gets a bolus on NS, NS is taking a lot of damage, he's going to be chased and died. Man, nothing he can do. I take that back, and he each chases very well. Jadam is just still on the front line, he's, he should be very Dyer's careful. Bottom tower is under attack. It's because of the build that Arteezy went that they're able to chase though. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to point out that Arteezy is playing in a very different style that he usually plays for Evil oh, Genius. Oh, they see... Oh, the chain comes through, and look at the damage output. <laughs> He's still on Mendata, so he can go if he wants, but he decides not to. They're going to kill this ward that was going to die anyways. Radiance top tower is under attack. Um, and now Illidan TP's top to farm. And it's all about this morphing, right? He has 2.2k gold. What, what does he buy? Ethereal Blade. Yeah. Uh, Lincoln? No, he's going straight up Ethereal Blade. I think, I think the item that he should be going for, judging from... Die in trouble, but remember he has reincarnation, he's gonna die and everyone's going to be super slow. No, no, the, 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 the slack, slack, mana burned him. And the Slack as well re That's re good. Yeah. reduces his stats. No, but it's... Oh no, yeah, it's it reduces one from each stat One from each stat, yeah. Well, it's, let's just say it's really the mana burn. Yeah. yeah, well, it's both. <laughs> it's yeah, it's sure, like sure. anti-synergetic, if you think about it, because it reduces its stats, so you mana burn for less. I mean... Unless you mana burn first, then sure. it... Sure, then it's devil whammy, right? Yeah. yeah. Dyer's yeah. top tower Back to the item that uh, Illidan should be getting. He should be getting an item that allows him to fight very quickly and very early. He bought uh, an ultimate arm. Yeah, which, you know, top tower has fallen. give you stats, which is good. I, I think a Manta style would be good, a BKB would be good. I mean, he is in so many of these fights. Just having some sort of survivability is just good. But looks like we're going to see a Roshan attack coming If Andy were here, he'd complain about the BKB if he went to. I think BKB's fine. First item? Dyer's well, he complains about everything. He wasn't included, so... <laughs> Right? Morphling uh -oh. sucks. Yodem a weave. Yeah, he used the weave, so they see. That's the amazing thing about weave. It kind of destroys an erosion attempt yeah. so fast. And the cool thing about that is it comes in from such a long cast range, so... Yeah, and it gives vision, and yeah. it hits the visage bird, so now you hit a visage bird and it dies it in instantly, one hit. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he's just gonna wait for this. Uh, oh, item gee, to no. He should be fine. I mean, he has his old. He has a Shadow Blade as well. I like the item choice because we're in all these kind of scrappy team fights. Illidan, 
And be careful, the chain's gonna hit on Jada, but the stun is it gonna hit? It hits three, my goodness! Arzar, but on the back line, Arteezy gets shackled, he's gonna be going down. Universe, gotta be careful. You were talking about how much these wards gonna do, it just sectioned off the entirety of EG and he did not help. So Mace on the back line gets a double, he wants a little bit more. Illidan has a lot of armor, but not too much HP to work with. Mason runs back away, and it's gonna be <laughs> PBD that's dropping low. Arzar is gonna go down. This team fight is just so back and forth, and it sounds like a VP is chilling actually. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're trying to clear down these birds as well. He got the Dyer's beast summon. He's going to try and attack. clear the ward with the birds now. But yeah, Mason. Yeah, Mason is like 5, or is it 8 and all? 8 and all. 8 0 and 1. Crazy. That's the kind of stun you want to have in your team. At yeah. the same time, that's the kind of stun you don't want to have in your team. You're like, man, like my team sucks. Look at these guys standing in there, just like owning people. Trust me, nobody will be saying that about here. By the way, Ty's about the guy's rush. Yeah, he's pretty slow, isn't he? Yeah, look how slow rush. Oh, slow, yeah. Look at it. It attacks slow now. I would say not really. No, Sean but okay. has fallen to the dire. Wait, it's a, uh, it's level two already. Mortality. He's level eleven, so he only has 160 seconds of reincarnation. All right. Now they find G. G are you gonna die? No, he pops the. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Woo! Jump! Jump! So like, oh, oh yeah, universe with that hook. Oh no, they got Ilian as well. Oh no. Ilian might die here, he's popping and. Straight morphing. Straight morphing. Oh no! He's gonna get him. Oh, what? Chain's gonna get him. I mean, he has a ton of more mana left, but. Did he? Oh, he ran he out of He maxed out, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. ran out of strength. Ah. Sorry, ran out of agility. Welp. Hmm. So your two cores just got killed. Because of Sentry Wars and Miss, Miss Waveform. Yeah. Again, I feel like EG has just so much mobility on Arteezy as well as uh, on uh, Mason. Yeah, Not sure, they were, they were able to kill Arteezy quick, but, you know, Mason, if you leave him alone, he is going to be doing a ton of damage. And he only had a uh, basically a Treads as well as Hannah Midas before that. Now he's going to finish that Lincoln, so you just can't deal with him anymore. Mm hmm. On the other hand, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised at Ember Spirit because he was really, really involved in all these uh, fights. He's 4 4 and 11, but he doesn't have any real items to speak of. He's went for Facebook and drums. Um, so, yeah, no going for that Battle Fury, at least not early game. He probably will try to go for. If he gets Desolator here, that would be great. Just because he helps everyone, he helps the Weaver do more damage, and the Weaver doesn't have to go Desolator himself. Yeah. Uh, I remember that you applied this on everyone once you slide off this. Oh, what? Arsat, they found TPD and as well, they popped the ward. The bird did a million damage. But, I am Universe. Oh my god, two more claw cook and uh, Universe still trapped in right next to the ward. It's not exactly where he wants to be, but Mason again on cleanup duty takes off Arsat instantly. John, I'm trying to run. No way to run from this particular lineup. And every time they win a fight like this, guess what? The wards on the back yeah. line is just free. Free gold. Like 240 gold ish for the entire team. Maybe Radiant's a little bit more than that. Yeah. Pretty much. It's uh, 30 times 10. How many wards are there? Them, I think, right? No, it's more of them. It's 10 wards. Oh, 10 so wards. it's around like, yeah, 300 gold. Sweet. Yeah, and here comes G. He popped the. Uh, uh, there's oh, a no. There's a little sentry. They see him attack. every single time. So if they come here, oh, he, he knows. Radiant's bottom he just leaves, but they saw him leaping. Want to chase? Do you want to pursue? I think they won't. They just give up. EG has been really on point with this <laughs> sentry ward. They do not pop him uh, like as the fight starts. They're always there before G comes. Yeah, even I mean, when they were fighting at Roshan, they had one on the high ground. Yeah. When you have a Visage who has like so much gold, which is surprising to see PPD not going for that Straight quick arts. axe. Yeah, he's going for medallion into a buckler. So. Normally, I, I think having the start that he did, going for like, you know, a 10 minute axe would just, I want to say, win the game. Do you think Skeleton King should have gone for the mechanism? No, I think Skeleton King needs to get some. Four star for a blink dagger. Something like that. But he's yeah. actually gone Vlad, which. Hey. It's interesting. Super aura. Yes. I mean, 30% from the aura plus. Boom, Wait, are you trying to Skeleton? Rave King? Rave King, he's got Vlad, yeah. Where, oh, is it flying to him? Yeah. yeah. On the Chiquita. <laughs> So it's like, yeah, I mean, think about it, right? 46% life steal on everyone. Well, I say that's pretty strong, man. Considering uh, that, you know, Weaver doesn't get it, I'm not sure. Weaver what? does we get Weaver does get... Not from the Vlad. Not from the Vlad. Yeah, not from the Vlad. But it's a 30%. I, right? I really think they're getting it for the armor as well as the damage. Because if you're looking at the item sets that Weaver as well as uh, the Ember Spear is getting, they're not getting really real damage items, right? So they're lacking it a little bit right now. G, by the way, invis up. He sees PBD, but... I don't sure think he can kill him. Nope. He definitely can. He need, he, or he definitely cannot. He needs a backup of his team. Right. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, at the same time, imagine like with Slide of Fist, you Slide of Fist uh, a group of five heroes and you go from zero health to full health with 46%. Yeah. I guess. You also do a lot of reduced damage. What? On creeps. On, on creeps, creeps yeah. not on heroes. Yeah. I do increase damage on heroes. Incoming. Yeah, it's plus 120, isn't it? Pretty insane hero. Pretty, pretty insane strong, skill. pretty strong. I mean, there's a reason why it's a first pick. I wonder, Can would this really see EG buy a gem and bottom tower de ward everything to take map control from now? Radiant yeah, I mean, if you look at it, they don't have much to ward either. It's only this offensive ward right here. And, and the rest is like defensive ward. But it's defensive ward. It's not like they're going to be there to annoy them much. Looks like they try to defend that top tier too, which is fairly hard considering Radiant's the fact that there is certain wards down. But EG is going to try to TP. He's going to come through it. Everybody's going to run. Again, this lineup here from EG, the front lines are just so hard to deal with. And again, the back line is so mobile. Arteez, he sees the courier. No, he doesn't want to go for it. But they could keep chasing. They could use the spirits and go in for the oh, Arteez got slow <laughs> by the... <laughs> by the, But they still can do it because now goes. Illidan's found. Oh, he's down no, to about he, half HP. He could just wave side. to the right side. Oh, Chain's going to get him. Oh, up, but the clockwork hook's gonna find him. Relocate, relocate, relocate! Whoa, what? So he wrong. had an illusion. He had an illusion? Yeah, I don't know why he didn't either. Uh -huh. I don't know, he thought, maybe he thought he was safe, but what, Universe, <laughs> now he's trapped, right? But at the same time, he's been on spot with all these hook shots. Just, he doesn't initiate with a hook shot. He lets everyone run at the enemy, and when the enemy is trying to run away, then he hook shots. Yeah, he More predictively, yeah. gets the cog on two if he needs to. It's He's doing a hard job, but he's paying off. Poor universe. Uh, the chicken's coming with the, the TP now. He'll, be, he'll be home soon. I miss you, universe. So I, I think on the Fantasy League, I'm playing against Shane Radiant's this week. Top tower yeah. is and under uh, attack. I'm down by, I don't know, 10 points so far. Really? Yeah, and today I only have universe, but he plays three games, so he he's needs to come two, up big. He's 7, 13. Yeah, that's not looking good. Let me check on his Fantasy point. I actually got Zion PP. He's got four points right now. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, you're probably gonna feed it though, because I have a dirty no one. Oh, you have literally no one? I don't think so, no. Oh, no, and S is gonna no feed him. No, it's nice okay. save. For the bug though, gotta kill the bug. Somebody the right click. Attack the bird, attack the bird. Attack the bird. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh, the Ooh, the damage. He survives in 20 HP. And Mason, yeah, now Mason kills him. He time lapses away. Oh, without the Shadow Shaman, without the ward, I'm not sure what VP can do to stop this. Oh, here comes the Ardizi, and Ardizi, yeah, he has. You know what I'm at all, so Illidan hurts him whenever he hits him, but at the same time. I mean, RTZ is just running through this entire team. They're just so tanky, they do so much damage, they move so quickly, and it looks like the first stun on Illidan. Oh, no. He's gonna go from downtown, he's gonna go down as well. RTZ wants more, he sees Arzar, and they just took down the entire team. But no, it's gonna be a TP from the back line. He wants G Central immediately being dropped. He dodges away, but the stun does follow, and he is gonna go down. What a call! Coming out from Universe. RT just picked up an Ultra, so RTZ owners out there. Dyer's bottom tower is under yeah, attack. Points. Oh no. That's no, who has a TZ? Uh, oh yes, Andy. Andy has it. Andy has it. I'm playing against Andy. Oh good luck, sir. Yeah, but look at that. I mean RTZ has 6.7 and PPV has 9.9 .9, and Zai has 10.4. That's the stun duration again coming. Yeah, again, and I have the supports. Yeah. I figure it out. You need to get the supports, you get points, man. So RTZ generally by the way he, he he plays is really good for points because he farms a lot. In fact, he is like the one player for the team. <laughs> but this particular game they yeah. let Mason do the farm. Yeah, he he's the kind of playing a more traditional mid row, right? Very little farming comparison, a lot more roaming, a lot more aggressive ganking. It looks like he's gonna be going for Daedalus first. Which... Yeah, without any battle theories. Yeah. yeah. Look, they're gonna find Zai. Like, ah, we can kill this guy that has like 1.7 K H. Can they? <laughs> no, they can't. Oh, they oh, nice more tough. Well, they can kill him once. No, he, he doesn't have, he already have ulti. He's gonna just waltz away. Huh. The ghost, oh, the, the ghost, ghost man! Oh, he stuns him! At the shot coming off cooldown soon, and hell from long range. Nicely done, but here comes the Superman Weaver, who, by the way, has 12, 1, and 8, and nobody will get to be getting those points. Yeah. Oh, that's true, actually. That's true. Yeah, some people were complaining, hey, like, fear owners, they should, um, have, like, they're kind of screwed. Mm -hmm. but if you think about any fantasy sports, uh, athletes get injured. All the time, yeah. You kind of have to deal with that. It's part of playing the fantasy sport as well. I mean, it's more rare in Dota. You don't see people getting injured as often. But hey, I mean, we were aiming for realism, so we broke his carpal tunnel. G, really G is having a tough time. And he's going to gain a lot of HP back from Shadow Dance, but RTZ, he's doing a ton of damage right now. All the chain, uh, Ember's Courage, and RTZ is the biggest trick.
he is weak. You can't run away from the team, even as slack. Like, Dyer's one of the most mobile heroes in the game. Attack. Well, when you're running a straight line and you're not juking right. up the cliffs and down Dyer's the river. Top tower yeah. has been Did he have much of a choice there? You had to get as much distance as he possible. He could have pounced like maybe towards the ancients. Oh, that was so close. No. Can AA do something to Mason? Mason just runs away. I think he has enough mana. I think he, he has Lincoln, so the mana burn is completely void. Like. Yeah. He's He's spike. Oh. spike right now. Spike. Oh, never mind. Oh, he didn't blink away. Uh oh. He should blink oh, no. away immediately. Sight being yeah, provided. No swarm being used just yet. It's on cooldown, and the blink, blink's blink, gonna blink. come back. Oh, oh beautiful oh, play. Oh wow. Um, oh wow. Well played. I mean, what a questionable play, but it worked. <laughs> it he dodged the bo the boats and got out of vision. I think that was beautiful. And then he walked back into the vision. <laughs> yeah. He was like, "Hey guys, I'm still here." <laughs> That's because he was so excited. <laughs> I'm sure he was. I'm pretty sure he thought he was like uh, an impassable terrain. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like "Oh no, actually, that's an exit." <laughs> mm. Now he has a blink again. Will he blink towards more safety? He just walk away. Maybe he's looking I mean, at he, the. He's just waiting for a TP to come, which he is not sending just yet. No, 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 no. He was waiting for the creep boy to leave, and then now he blinks. Invis, yeah. Yeah. It would be funny if that time he blinked into impassable terrain, <laughs> so he <laughs> just <laughs> stuck in there. Well, yeah. So I personally wasn't a big fan of the Morphling Lincolns because you could see how closely they were losing or how close they to they were losing the fight and perhaps losing their racks, but yeah. they held it and now he's going for a shotgun which yeah. which is Illidan, really good. Illidan, now. Illidan. He should be fine. Oh it is okay. Oh okay. <laughs> that noise, so shit. Yeah. It's like a wind blowing past your window at night or something like that. <laughs> But, I mean, if we're looking at it again, what does Lincolns really do for you? You, you block a Wraith King stun, maybe a, like a So Assumption. You're not, it's not yeah, really a high priority. What, three, three, three spells you can block? Yeah, like, the, the real damage is coming from the Ember. The real damage is coming from Weaver. Mason. Who also has a Desolator. But at the same time, he now has... Okay. Uh, at the same time, he now has uh, um, Ghost Scepter, which is going to be an inferior blade, but the Ghost Scepter in itself will help him. Sure, that's true. Uh, avoid the damage from those two heroes. Remember, when you are not relying on flame guard anymore, which is like this kind of like mid late game, Arteezy, the flame guard doesn't do that much damage. Mm -hmm. Once you Hello. pop the ghost scepter, there's not much that the flame um, that the uh, ember spirit can do to you. Well, the the chains are here quite a lot. It's like 300. Ooh, Arteezy runs in and look at his HP is just dropping low in ages. Damn. One of the most useless ages I've seen. <laughs> I mean, Arteezy just ran at him trying to scare him away. In oh, fact, he he's running back for more. The birds are threatening for stun, but there is no stun. So one thing that I want to point out is that Vertical is doing very well despite losing all these fights. If you look at the gold graph, they're down by 14,000 gold. It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't feel like it. I mean, right. It feels like they're behind, they're not that behind. It's because they are pushing the Creed Wave constantly so that EG can't be taking fights and then pushing down Raxes. So, I mean, that's another way to use your Slark and Morphling. Instead of looking for those ganks, you push the Creed Wave and your Sinister is so hard to kill, uh, you can't do just that. Yeah. Do you think Slark's gonna get a Manta or the usual Scotty? I think Ida will be fine. I think Manta's pretty good in this case. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, the Ember Spirit gets scarier and scarier the more later the game goes. He has a full Daedalus right now. It's not much for 30 minutes, though. I mean, it's much when you think about the, the fact that he wasn't farming at all. He was hunting for heroes. He was just fighting all the time. Normally, if you're farming, you can get much more than that. Yeah. But Radiant's at this point, like, the main cores are not going to be scared, but that Dazzle and that Shadow Shaman, uh, one good crit of that, and they Radiant's might be gone. Yeah. I think, to me, in this game, it's not really about the cores. It, to me, it's about the support. Yeah. If you look at Zai right now, he almost has an AC finish. So if... Your support, Rave King, is providing so much aura and makes the team entirely tanky. If you look at the other side, I mean, NS has been rotating well. Uh, unfortunately, he has no item to show for it. If, for example, oh, he has a wind dagger. Bottom, sorry, they won't interrupt you, but he has his thing. The replica. Yeah, he should be fine. For example, if NS has a blink dagger, then it doesn't matter what Arteezy has oh. in terms of item. He could just pick him off. Can I get TPD? TPD, no. What in hell? Tom, die. Uh, PPD does have a mech and one. He's gonna pop both of them right now, but unfortunately, it doesn't gain too much HP. The pound's gonna hit on him. PPD goes down, and the gems yeah, the on the gems ground as well. Zai, meanwhile, gets war trapped. They're gonna try to burst him down. Blink, mana burn, oh, but the burn stun. stun from PPD. Somebody pick up the gem. G will pick it up, dodges the stun, and here comes the universe. It's a one man hook, and Mason again on cleanup duty. They see Illidan, the buck keeping track on him. Any stun coming out? Away. No stun. Look at, look at all the projectiles chasing him. Yeah, Holy shit, there's yeah. like 20 of them after him. Should be fine. It's coming! 
It's going to be all... They, he disjointed everything. Anyways, yeah, I, I kind of think that was a win for Virtus Pro again, there. Got a gem, they traded one for one. Uh, but at this time, like, even trading one support for one support, it favors you, because their support are more tanky, they have more levels, they give more gold, because probably some of them have streaks. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, it's, it's just like, their supports are getting, like, ACs and VATs, and your support's getting Bracers. Like, that's why I'm saying you're winning if you trade the support, like... Right, but I'm saying that VP needs their farm support to win. Like, if, for example, NS gets a Blink Dagger, he could Blink on RTZ and remove him instantly from the fight. And they could, like, gang up on him. If you have very underfarm support, eventually, as the game goes on more and more, they're gonna be dead weights. Yeah, so I'm worried they're going goal. to get lots of RTZ, though. RTZ! He's gonna be fine. He's just walk it up, walk it off, walk it off. Oh, Blink oh. dagger, <laughs> mana burn. Oh, he dodges it. Mana burn again. The spike. Oh, the ring the around use. the rosy. Here comes Zai. He's gonna get the sun off. And I think Arzard is dead. Oh, 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 the juice. Uh, PPV getting the kills. Fucking beautiful. And, and here's the broken thing about Ember Spear, right? You almost kill him, by the way. He's gonna TP back, kill up, and then he's gonna come back full HP for your hero, guys. Yeah. Look at that, he's there, he's 70%, now he's going to go back to the spirit. And RTZ is getting the correct item choice, I believe he's going for Lincoln's Fair, which once he gets it, again, Virtus Pro have so little disable in between their heroes, they just can't deal with them anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they actually have a lot of disable, they have Nyx, they have Tuzzle. Shoshan. I mean, because the hero moves so fast, like you only have time to get off maybe you can one hex. or two. Instantly hex. Yeah. Well, uh, Illidan has to be there. I mean, he decides right away. Again, if you hex off the Lincolns on RTZ, and maybe even if you kill him and burst him down, like you still have to worry about Mason afterwards. Yeah. You still have to worry about the Wraith King, which. He's, I can't, getting, he's getting strong now. I don't think they could deal with the Wraith King. Like, I know what I see. Yeah. He, yeah. He's not a support anymore. He's a big boy now. I he mean, is. he's a, a 33 mini, Bloods and AC and Treads. It's like a, a mid player that didn't have much farm, but... But he's doing a lot. Yeah, exactly. So he has two lives, he's level 17, so he has 60 seconds on the respawn time. Uh, tough. Yeah. Again, if Virtus Pro wants to kill any hero, they can. Like, they definitely could kill RTZ or the Weaver or, or whatever else. The problem is, if you use all of your spell to kill a single hero, you still have to deal with the rest of EG. So do you think going for, like, single pickoffs, like, in the top lane? Yeah, they, they really can't teamfight right now. Yeah. And, and it's good to see that they're not trying to teamfight. So, uh, the Slark has... I have Scotty. Makes him a lot tankier. And, again, if he finds one random hero, he can't just perma chase him. So, okay, right? Like, I told you I invented the roaming support Rave King. Okay. So what you do right now, once you, you have your cores farmed up and your Wraith King is actually working okay, is you just go push as five. And you send the Wraith King alone just to attack the tower. Okay. He's so tanky that they can't just right click him. You ha they have to use spells on him. Yeah. Oh, blink and on RTZ. Oh, miss, but they're trying to burst him down. How much damage are they doing? Is it enough? RTZ is going to be fine. And uh, uh oh. Universe, man. He needs to jump. Oh no, she cannot get the jump off. And he just gets popped. And guess what? The gem gets passed back. And RTZ secured it as well for Andy. <laughs> for Andy. God damn it, Andy. Andy's playing by, I guess. No, Andy's playing me. Oh. Yeah, James is playing by. All right, how's my boy doing? Uh, my boy, Zai, 13.4, PPV, 11. But TC is not doing that great. Universe is the worst EG player. Why do I have him? <laughs> <laughs> AA with Vendetta and double damage. Going to try to go for Zai. He gets the bite. That's does no nothing. damage. This is a stun and like, suddenly, I'm going to run away. Rave King has, like, 30 armor. <laughs> he literally has 30 armor. What did it take? Like 10% of his life? He literally took no damage. He had Vendetta and double damage. And now here come the Battle Furies. You were talking about Lincolns, he said like, no. Okay. No Lincolns. I, okay. I mean, if he feels like he could survive all that, which he's shown that he survived the last two gank <laughs> with some ring around the rosy. Illidan. I mean, Illidan is the last hope of this team right now. Because no, no. even though the Slark has an Eye of Scuddy and almost 2k health, He's not tanky enough. He just dies to the burst of everyone there. Illidan, as I say that. Ah. Gets initiated upon, just That's so away. annoying. We're trying to kill Morphling and he just presses R. Yeah. yeah, this is a very dangerous time for uh, VP right now because the creep wave is pretty pushed. So if EG wants to jam down the mid lane, they definitely have the room to do so. Uh, they just need to get everybody there. Yeah. 
where everyone's alive, not many kills. It's kind of crazy because the first 10, 15 minutes of the game were super intense with lots of kills anywhere. Mm -hmm. And now it transitioned into this very deliberate, slow paced kind of game where EG know they're ahead. And I think they're getting more and more ahead each time. And yeah. yeah, it's like 20k gold, 25k gold uh, experience. Well, VP can't leave their area. Like they're, they're cl closed up in their base and v uh, EG are taking control of the whole map. Like. EG, they yeah. can push out with Morphling, but that's in Slark. But that's oh, they it. can push out with Morphling if he has a replicate though. Yeah, exactly. You can see he's not even moving past the river without their replicate. They're actually thinking about a jump. Again, if Blink Dagger's on NS, they can make something happen, but uh, he's poor, man. Poor he is really, really poor. Now they're all waiting for the rush, but it's funny because this is the worst possible rush you can have. It's a full 11 minute respawn timer. The big guy. So they're kind of waiting there, but the fact that they want to get it as soon as possible will make it so that a couple of the guys will be just be wasting time. Um, they're going to the jungle now. It's like, well, Rogan is not there. Let's Weaver fight with does him. not care. He's just walking into three of them. I mean, he could solo this Morphling right now. He could. Oh, here comes Ember. Double Ember. The chain's gonna hit on Jotam, and Jotam got Grave himself. The Clockwork Hook's gonna secure the kill. They don't even care about him. In fact, he runs north trying to heal himself up. Wow. What the damage? Artisan is attack. running really low on mana, like but... He's a Tizzy guy. I guess so. Uh, something to do. If I pack on Dazzle... Dazzle needs to drop out and weave on everybody. Yeah, it's on cooldown. Yeah, he used it before. See. Oh, now the are trying to and the very offensive TP from G, but gets caught. He's trying to go on people, but yeah, he can only go for PPV, and I don't think he can even kill him. And BB is like, yeah, no, just get away from me. Get away from here right now. We're gonna kill your ward, we're gonna kill your building, and then we're gonna kill you. They use the ethereal blade on the Weaver, which is a huge risk, because if you don't actually like, kill him 100%, he's just gonna come back and pull up. And that's exactly what happened. Oh, they were then just gonna try to man up against just about everybody. The Grave is uh, letting him do that, but he needs to get back. Meanwhile, the Rex has already gone down, and Zaya is really the real man in this team fight, because he just simply does not care. NSI for a second time in this team fight. I think he just bought back and Zai hasn't even died once, so he's completely okay being here. Yeah. Now they get the mech, and I think Zai is even kind of wants to stay. Uh, they see G because there's this bear here. This bear is gonna die, however. A hundred gold. The leaping dagger strike. The leaping dagger strike. Mm -hmm. You know what Slark really reminds me of? Wow. How the old queen in a plane. Queen of play, yeah. <laughs> queen of she's, pain she, play. She's not too exuberant. She's just kind of plain. She's, she's really queen plain. Of plain. Queen of plain. Yeah, she's true plain. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the worst title ever. Like, which, <laughs> which, uh, you know, sh she wins her lane hard, and then she roams around and gets like 25 kills, and you win the game. Yeah. It feels like that's what you need Dyer's to do with Slark. Unfortunately, well, they're gonna run into a couple here on PPD. If you can get him down, all oh, the impel misses. Are they gonna do enough damage? I think the grave half goes on Arzar. Clockwork Hook comes the universe. Look, he might not be earning the points, but he is definitely making the big play. He's doing the shovel work. Yeah. And PPD the only one to die. Three for one. Not the fairest of exchanges. There's a gem as well. They four for one. Kill Morphling and they say GG. Nothing else to do. EG is going to kill Roshan anyways. Maybe they can get it before the 10 seconds. They can get a little bit more gold. Victory. Help the fantasy points, but no, that's not gonna happen. And friends, BP versus EG. Predictable? Um, I did not predict Mason coming out this strong. <laughs> he yeah. did really well. They gave him a lot of support at the start and gave him that early. Well, he got first blood and then they gave him the try lane for what, like five minutes, four yeah. minutes? Mm -hmm. Get him that start and then he just rolled from yeah. there. Yeah.